and welcome to Basic Two Tech for students, teachers, and math education. This video and the others in the series is intended for those taking the Jamaica Defense Force math entrance exam and also for adult education and anyone willing to understand the basic fundamentals of maths. So here we go. All right, in today's video, we shall be looking at operations of whole numbers. This is one of the basic fundamentals of maths. So let's take a look at some examples. Now, our first example is the addition and subtraction of whole numbers. Now, the rule is to always work from left to right when they are just addition and subtraction operations. So, in this case, we're asked to find the value of 30 plus 23 minus 15. We work from left to right. That means we have to add before we subtract. So, 30 plus 23 is 30 plus 23 that gives us 0 plus 3 is 3 3 plus 2 is 5 that gives us 52 sorry 53 minus 15 so minus 15 now 3 minus 5 is impossible so we take 1 from 5 becomes 13 then 5 minus 1 becomes 4. So 13 minus 5 is 8. And 4 minus 1 is 3. So 53 minus 15 gives us 38. So that is our final answer. Please note that you, you can do this with your calculator. However, what we're doing today is to show you how you can easily solve simple math expressions manually. Now let's look at our next question. Now we're asked to find the value of 79 minus 45 plus 52. Again, the rule is the same. We always work from left to right, from left to right. So the first thing is 79 minus 45. 9 minus 5 is 4. And 7 minus 4 is 3. So we have 79 minus 45 is 34. Plus 52. So 34 plus 52. So 4 plus 2 is 6. And 3 plus 5 is 8. So 34 plus 52 gives us 86. This is our final answer. Let's look at the multiplication and division of all numbers. Now, when there is only multiplication and division operations, what we do is to work from left to right. So the same principle for addition and subtraction works for multiplication and division. We work from left to right. So the first thing we do here is to multiply 18 by 2. So 18 times 2, 8 times 2 is 16. We, we write down 6, then move 1 to the next column. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, so 36. So 18 times 2 is 36. 36. Divide by 4. So for us to divide by 4, we have to think of the number that we can multiply 4 to give us 36. What number can multiply 4 to give us 36? What comes to mind is 9. And we know that 9 times 4 gives us 36. This means that 36 divided by 4 is 9. Let's take a look at a next example. 
In this case, we're asked to find the value of 12 divided by 4 times 7. Again, the rule is the same. We always work from left to right. So the first thing we do here is 12 divided by 4. 12 divided by 4. Just like multiplication, to do this, 12 divided by 4, we think of a number that can multiply 4 to give us 12. And that number is 3. 3 times 4 is 12. So therefore, 12 divided by 4 is 3. For you to understand multiplication and division, you have to understand your times table. It's very important if you want to be able to easily get the answers for division and multiplication. So 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 7. 3 times 7, it means that we are asked to find the sum of 3 in 7 places. Or we can find the sum of 7 in 3 places. So that means 7 plus 7 plus 7. 7 plus 7 is 14. 14 plus 7 is 21. So that means that 3 times 7 gives us 21. So this is how we can solve operations involving addition and subtraction and also multiplication and division. I hope you find this video educating. We shall continue the series next week with fractions. So do not miss that. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.